For some reason, I was trapped in the 90s, and I somehow missed out on this game called Fortnite. But I finally found a way to escape. Whoa. I throw this Asgardian at you. <laughs> Ready up! What are you doing, man? I don't have all day. Re hurry, hurry, Ariel, hurry. Hurry. Let's relax, bro. Hurry. Dude, I have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I shit! You. Why God? Yeah, I'm dying. They're behind me. They're behind me. They literally followed us. Why? Why? Whoa! Freaking amazing at this game, bro. I'm the best. Uh, oh, I see him. Rock. The best. Use your medkit, Ariel. Bro, chill. Don't talk to me. Wait, are we? Oh, be. Daddy, chill. Is it you so versus fucking them fucking too? Toxic. Dude, yes, but. Oh shit, you're fucked, bro. You don't know how to build that good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh, I'm Doki Darth, or Elias Rodriguez is my real name. But um, if I win this challenge, I'm gonna be Phase Doki. Ay. I'm really passionate about a lot of things. I'm passionate about film, EDM, editing, lighting. I'm passionate about like anything creative, really, and people being kind, nice to one another, and accepting. So yeah, that's another facet of life that I'm really interested in. What really inspires me, I would have to say my parents and like my best friends, like all of them really inspire me just as people. Both of my parents came here legally from Mexico and that gave me the opportunity to do basically like whatever I want here by having them along the ride and having them always like, uh, they're always very supportive of me. So I'm really happy about that. We might not agree with everything, but they were always supportive of what I wanted to do and so were like my siblings. I have seven siblings. And then my friends, like my friends are some of the best people in the world. I love them. They're also like my brothers and sisters. But if I had to say like famous people that inspire me, it's definitely Jontron, PewDiePie, and Joe Rogan. PewDiePie was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched. I was I was watching YouTube way before him, don't get me wrong, like with the evolution of dance and everything, but him and Jontron were both the first gaming channels that I really started to follow. So they really inspired me into like taking video creation towards that level. I never knew I could like combine it with my passion for video games. So they definitely really inspired me to start doing like the types of videos I do, which I'm not good at video games, I do comedy. And then Joe Rogan inspires me just as a person because of all the guests he has, it allows me to like keep a clear mind and like actually view different perspectives in life instead of just like staying solidified with like a singular perspective. I've been creating content for about 12 years now. I started off by just making random videos in my backyard with a camcorder. In middle school, I started taking film classes. Then I got to high school, started making little short films. Like I made this video game based short film that was just like absolutely ridiculous. My first year of college, I went to film school, but I started streaming. I also still made YouTube videos, um, like short films. After that, I stopped for a little bit, but I streamed for about a good four years. I stopped for about a year and then I began streaming again recently. I started a new YouTube channel, which is the Doki Darth channel, because I wanted something that was kind of cute and dark, because I feel like that expresses my personality very well. <laughs> so I've been making videos for a while now, like a really long time, but I love it. What I'm most proud of is many things. I'm proud of my work ethic. I'm currently going to school and I work as a teacher for this program called Teach for America. I'm in my second year, so I'll be done very soon. But um. I'm very passionate about the things I do and I'm passionate about the fact that uh, on top of that I'm able to put in a lot of time into my videos. I don't know if you could tell but I spend about 40 hours a week editing my videos just to make them as perfect as I possibly can. Um, they're obviously flawed and there's a lot of things wrong with them but they're, they are like my babies and I watch them till the end and then I release them out for everyone to take in and then create whatever opinion they want of them like every other content creator and yeah. That's what I'm pat that's what I'm really proud of. I'm proud of my work ethic and I'm proud of my content. I'm very proud of my content. I want to join FaZe Clan because I have a lot to offer uh, in terms of my editing skills and my knowledge of software. I've been using it for a very long time, although I'm not certified. I've I do have 12 years of experience with editing, about eight years with Photoshop, and uh, I did photography for a while and I filmed for a while, so I know how to shoot. So in terms of the technical side, I feel like I have a lot to offer to FaZe Clan. I also feel like my videos are very original in terms of um, the memes that I put in them and the comedy that I have and my sense of humor. I think that a lot of people will be able to relate to it and I just want to like put smiles on people's faces and I feel like through this collective I'd be able to just 
be a part of something great where I can make other people happy. I don't know. I just want to make people laugh and enjoy themselves. That's my main goal as a content creator is just to make art that is just so stupid that it makes people just like say like, what the hell did I just watch? But thank you again for this opportunity. Even though I don't make it, like I'm really appreciative that y'all hold this like, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned if you uh, enjoyed my speech on why I should join FaZe. And if you didn't, you should still stay tuned. Because there are some pretty dank, dank memes at the end of this. But yeah, thank you. Mwah, I love all of you. Have a phenomenal whatever day it is. David just shot me and hurt me. You can't. Yes. He's doing you it. can oh, with that, can Yeah, oh no. my gosh, dude. David. Why? <laughs> no, you got all my shield off. Wait, did I actually? Yeah, I think. Oh my gosh. Is he lying? I can't tell. You're messing up my shield, bro. Get in the Honda Civic. Hurry! Marty! Marty! We're going back! We're going back, Marty! Where? Back to the future! Bitches get stitches, get bitches, get stitches, get stitches, get bitches, get stitches. Get stitches. Uh, you like my song? No, but whatever. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Radical. Right. Get him, get him, get him, get him! Ah! Yeah. Bro! It takes us longer to load into the game than to actually play a game because Ariel takes so long to ready up. I'm literally readied up. Oh, Look how fast I am. Ariel, Ariel, are you proud of me yet? Go to Doom's Lair! Go to Doom's Lair! Okay, Daddy. Alright, Daddy O. This is badass. You can get people superpowers. Look how cool I can yeah. build, bro. You can be Iron Man. You can be Iron Man. You could be Iron Man, you could be Iron Man. You could be other people. <laughs>